into where the Horde Inn or Horde Side used to be. It's basically up these stairs. And through this portal here. get this little body and soul buff which is kind of cool. Um, this is the new mission table. I'll just open it up. I've sent some of my champions out on missions already but these are two that are available just to see what you can get. Um, so far I've accumulated four of the champions. There are quite a few others you can collect. I'm not sure how to collect them probably through leveling since two of these I managed to get around 103. I'm currently 105 right now. Um, yeah, but I saw this one I thought he was kind of cool. Anyway, I'll have to work out how to get them later. Okay, so mission-wise, you can get items that um, grant artifact power which is kind of cool and you know the general follower XP ones. Um, I have noticed though that you don't have to always send out three champions out on a mission because I have sent out two at around 100% or 90% and it still comes back as successful but you don't always get the bonus roll then. Um, I did a mission last night, came back and found that I had two rewards, so basically two items that gave me artifact power. So that's well take well it's yeah, it's worth taking into account if you want to get, you know, more rewards. But um let's see. Scouting map is where you can basically open up your map and you'll see these little events and things happening out in the world. The first time I opened it up there were like five different ones, but um, what you can do is select any of the ones that are available and you basically get a little bit more lore to do and reward. So I might just open it up, I might do that later. And um, Acolytes are... Um, NPCs you can actually recruit, much like the shipyard where you can like build different ships. So you can run up here to this NPC. May the light embrace you. And two recruits remaining, so I might just do recruit all. You gain order resources just by questing out in the world. It's pretty easy by killing rares and things like that. Do not lose faith. Um, and then your class order report you can access from anywhere in the world. And here it says my group of acolytes, which is usually three, but I already have one in my mission table, so that's why it's giving me two. 29 minutes isn't too bad, but I'll probably do some other stuff before I come back and check on those. And um, the other thing is this NPC over here. As you level up, um, these Glory buffs to the become Sindori. available to you. So early on, I had a choice between Divine Fate, increases chance for quest rewards to gain. A rare or epic bonus upgrade from non repeatable quests, or this one. And this Altar of Blessings, which I managed to get yesterday, grants you permission to access either of the Altar of Light or Altar of Shadow once a day, praying to either of these altars. 
will grant valuable bonuses to assist you while questing in the Broken Isles. I haven't really um, Aran. worked out what that is yet, but I suspect it's an altar over here, which should be the holy side. Yeah, it looks like I can interact with it, so hopefully this is it. take it and then just I'll have to wait five levels. Hopefully it's not a conjured item. Is it? No. Okay, so I'll just have to save that. Alright, and the last thing is to go up to the artifact table, which is up on this platform up here. So basically, once you've gained enough artifact power, same thing as with the order resources, you just go out, do quests, kill rares and things like that, and they will give you items. And uh, also through certain quests, you'll get these relics like this one here, which gives you various bonuses. Um, what you normally would do is just plop it in there and it will give you extra options for whichever path you want to take. Um, so it tells you I have 240 artifact power and for example to upgrade this one to the next rank you can see I need 475. One way to when you're not in the order hall is to see this white bar up here. This tells you how much artifact power you have, uh, so that's pretty handy. And since we have so many items that actually grant artifact power, I've actually put them in my bar up here just so that I can keep track of whether I have any extra in my bag. These two were ones that I received from my mission table earlier today. I just haven't applied them, but this is what it looks like when you actually use it. I think the animation's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and please like if you enjoyed it.